We're going to slowly come down onto our bellies. So just let your belly come down to the floor. Keep the hands under the shoulders. Stretch the legs out. Bring the forehead to the mat. We're going to slide the elbows forward. Forearms on the floor. Press down into the forearms. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Coming into Sphinx Pose. So again, you stretch the legs out, gently press the pelvis down, gently lift the chest up. Let's stay here for a few breaths. So if this is not comfortable, you can take the arms a little bit away from you if it's not comfortable with the hands, with the elbows under the shoulders. But if it is, let's leave the elbows right under the shoulders. Take a breath here. And then you can either stay still or add a little movement to it, your choice. If you're going to add a little movement, you're just going to inhale, press into the floor with the hands, lift the elbows off the floor, just gently straightening the elbows a little bit. Exhale, come down. So your choice to be still or to add some movement, just lifting the elbows off the floor, coming into seal pose a couple times. Deepening the back bend. Just see how you feel. Maybe three or four times. And then when you're done, bringing the hands right onto the forehead, resting your head down on your forehead, coming into crocodile pose. Taking a few breaths here, just breathing into the belly, pressing the belly into the floor, relaxing completely. And then we're going to take the left knee out to the side, coming into half frog pose. So you're just going to scoot the left leg out to the side, the left knee up towards the left shoulder keeping the hips more or less on the floor. And you can stay here. Or if you want to take it into a different variation, you can bring the elbows back underneath your shoulders as we would for Sphinx. So your choice, you can come up on the forearms. Feels different, at least to me. Or you can stay down with the head on your hands. Or you can try both variations, staying up here for a few breaths, and then coming down with the head on your hands for a few breaths. So whichever variation you want, or you want to try both, feel free. Just see if you can keep the hips nice and relaxed, not gripping. And if you're in Sphinx pose, keeping the head looking down, or Sphinx arms, I should say. Stay here for a few more breaths. So choose if you want to just be still or you want to move into a different position. One more breath. And then if you're up on your forearms, coming down, bringing the head onto the hands, Bringing the legs back together, so bring the left leg back to meet the right. We're going to change sides. So you can shake the hips out in between if you like. Or windshield wiper the knees side to side, whatever feels good to you. And then just bringing the right knee out to the side, up towards the right shoulder. And again, you can keep your forehead on your hands. Or you can come and take a different variation, bringing the elbows underneath the shoulders, pressing into the forearms, just lifting the chest off the floor. Once you're here, see if you can relax completely. Just gently pressing the floor away. Or staying fully down on the floor. Your choice. And noticing if your breath has gotten shallow, just allow it to deepen. Let's 
staying here for a few more breaths. So change position or just stay where you are. coming down if you're up bringing the head back to the hands scoot the legs back together wiggle 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 if you need to bringing the hands under the shoulders and we're just going to press back into child's pose this time you can keep the knees together Bring the hands down by your side. So different variation of child's pose, resting the head on the floor or on a block or on a cushion, letting the shoulders just drape forward, completely resting. Staying here for a few breaths. 